Hello there, it's Amaria here. And in this video, I decided to share with you a little mindset hack, a little tip that actually helped me a lot when I was getting to that six to 8% body fat level. And this is for you guys that wanna get really lean. You guys wanna get ripped, you wanna get shredded, you wanna get those abs out. And this is something that helped me make really good decisions because staying in that calorie deficit is very, very difficult. I mean, you were eating 1,800 calories, maybe 2,000 calories in some cases when you really wanna get lean. It's quite hard. I mean, staying there and staying sane and making good food decisions is a challenge. You know, it's gonna deplete a lot of our willpower. And often when we look at, when we Google or we YouTube search on how do you get ripped, what foods do you eat to get lean, we were gonna find videos and articles saying, well, you need to cut this food out, or you need to cut carbs out, or you need to cut fats out, or you need to cut trans fats out, or you need to cut this, or toxins, or something. It's always about elimination. It's always about avoidance. You know, avoid this, and it's all gonna be solved. You know, you just get rid of these foods, and you're gonna get ripped. And nobody's really talking about it more from a standpoint of inclusion you know what's the best possible choice let's say I'm having a craving and I crave sugar well instead of me thinking well I cannot have anything you know I shouldn't eat that because I'm ultimately adding value to the food that I can't eat on a psychological level I'm kind of depriving myself and also thinking about that why am I not thinking well what is the best possible solution for me right now so that will maximize my nutrition density and get rid of that craving. Why are we not thinking more of like, what's the best possible choice? Instead, we're thinking, well, oh, I can't have pizza. And you know what happens when you think like you can't have pizza in, in your mind? It's like, okay, pizza is forbidden. Pizza is not allowed. You can't eat pizza. And eventually it's gonna sap your willpower, you're gonna binge, and you're gonna eat pizza because you're being overly restricted and it's not so much that we're actually even wanting certain foods, but when someone tells us, well, you can't eat that, all of a sudden we wanted more because scarcity, of course, means value as a human being where we value things that are more in scarcity. And that's a big problem, right? Instead of that, what I mean, I found it works really well for me and for my clients is thinking more from a perspective of what is the best possible food that I can get right now that will maximize my nutrition for the amount of calories that I have. So if you do have 1800 calories, when you have that sugar craving, why not just go for some fruits? Because you're gonna maximize the nutrition. It's more like thinking, what are the potential benefits instead of trying to run away from certain foods and thinking of certain foods as bad or banned or restricted or not allowed, well, it's a logical decision. You know, I'm just gonna go for foods that will maximize my nutrition. I'm gonna get rid of that craving. And similarly, let's say if I'm craving some salty food, and of course, if you are craving, you wanna get into those cravings, you wanna get that type of food, but it doesn't mean that I want salty crackers or chips. You know, I can just get, let's say, very, very healthy potatoes. I'm just gonna prepare and bake some potatoes and coconut oil, I'm gonna add a lot of salt. Bam, craving gone, plus, I've now maximized my nutrition because when you're in a low calorie intake, you of course want to get as much nutrient dense food in your diet as possible. So this is, is one of the ways I've kind of, I guess, brainwashed myself into making really, really good decisions because it was no longer avoidance, but it was like inclusion. I wanna include very, very healthy foods in my diet because of all the benefits, not because I'm running away from something. And this is just a simple mindset hack that helped me uh, make good decisions and it really helps me even now when I'm in a lean gaining phase to basically weigh the pros and cons. You know, I'm weighing the pros and cons of certain foods and um, I realize that I can maximize the value and the quality of my diet if I make certain food choices and I'm going for those foods more because I'm more interested in benefits, I'm more interested in getting the benefits rather than just trying to like fit as much junk food as I can in my diet while tracking my calories or trying to just avoid certain foods because ultimately it's gonna get uh, into a binge or it's gonna get into me breaking the diet or something like that where I'm gonna deplete my willpower and I'm gonna make very, very poor decisions. Just wanted to share this with you guys because this was very, very helpful for me as well. Of course, keep in mind that it's really about managing your calories and macros, when, especially when I get lean, using tools like my fitness bar, getting your protein, training, and doing all these things, but also looking at the psychology of things and trying to more like I guess brainwash yourself a little bit and control those urges and those cravings in a very intelligent way that will allow you to maximize your results. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below. Find this helpful. Aside from that, 
make sure to hit that subscribe button below to support the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.